Sri Guru Bionamaha. Welcome to our online teaching academy, Ekaleva. CBSE Class 12 Economics, Environment and Sustainable Development, Part 2. This part covers State of India's Environment, India's Environmental Issues a Threat, Factors Responsible for Land Degradation, and Central Pollution Control Board. Let us now know the state of India's environment. India has rich quality of soil, rivers, oceans, forests, mountains, and plenty of mineral deposits. There's both black soil and alluvial soil present in India. There is large deposit of black soil present in Deccan Plateau and alluvial soil is present in the northern plains that is the Indo-Gangetic plain area. And this black soil which is present in the Deccan Plateau is suitable for cultivation of cotton. And that's the reason that there are many cotton textile mills in and around this region. And the northern plain being rich in alluvial soil is very fertile and the cultivation of crops like rice is suitable in such regions. There are many rivers in India and there are oceans that surround India like we have the Arabian Sea in the west the Bay of Bengal in the east and the Indian Ocean. in the south. India has rich forest cover too and this gives shelter for both humans as well as animals. And there are uh, plenty of mineral deposits like iron ore, gold, lead, bauxite, zinc, etc. in India. However, there are a few concerns. There's a threat to India's environment. India's environmental issues a threat. Land degradation leads to loss in fertility of soil, and decrease in productivity. Pollution is a serious emerging challenge related to the process of growth. Air pollution, water pollution and noise pollution are peaking up to the alarming limits. Issue of loss of biodiversity has to be checked. We need to manage fresh water, otherwise it leads to scarcity of water. And the last environmental issue is the solid waste management. We need to remember the three golden hours, recycle, reuse and reduce. The household waste can be recycled into compost. The waste which is dumped on ground has to be managed well. Otherwise, it leads to environmental issues. 
factors responsible for land degradation are loss of vegetation this is caused due to deforestation as there is growing demand for wood unsustainable fuel wood and fodder extraction is another factor responsible for land degradation fodder fodder is the food for the cattle encroachment into forest lands forest areas are converted into habitation by encroachment forest fires and overgrazing is also another reason for land degradation non adoption of adequate soil conservation measures the farmers do not have knowledge about soil conservation measures improper crop rotation farmers do not make proper selection of crops the new crop planted should not take the same nutrients which earlier crop had taken indiscriminate use of agrochemicals such as fertilizers and pesticides is also another factor responsible for land degradation instead of fertilizers and pesticides farmers can use manures and biopests the next factor is the improper planning and management of irrigation system farmers are not aware of the soil conservation measures and the irrigation systems extraction of ground water in excess of the recharge capacity indiscriminate extraction of underground water more than the recharged capacity leads to land degradation poverty is again a reason for land degradation and the last factor responsible for land degradation is open access resources open access resources refer to the resources over which the government authorities do not have direct control in order to take care of the environment the pollution control boards are set up by the government the central pollution control board and the state pollution control board the function of these boards are to address the environmental concerns particularly air pollution and water pollution both central pollution control board that is c p c b and state pollution control board s p c b investigate collect and disseminate information relating to water air and land pollution disseminate is spreading information these boards provide technical assistance to governments in promoting cleanliness of streams and wells by prevention and control of water pollution and apart from all these these boards also carry out and sponsor investigation and research relating to problems of water and air pollution the various measures adopted by the ministry of environment and the central and state pollution control boards may not yield reward unless we consciously adopt a path of sustainable development thank you